Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin moved further down, not really a surprise. Yeah, um, in the last video, Bitcoin hadn't even reached the middle of our green reversal area here. So it has further scope for further downside. We want to take a look at it. Um, and um, yeah, what is Bitcoin doing? So just to recap here, really, uh, Bitcoin is coming from the from the low here at around um, 17,500, moved up impulsively in a wave one, came down the wave two. My opinion, as per the bullish scenario, would be that we are now in this wave C uh, three up here. And in the wave three, we've done a one and a two. And then uh, within this wave three, we are now in the wave three, which again has sub waves and the one is already complete. And we're now in this wave two. I've been expecting this wave two for a few days now, and yesterday finally we came into this target area. Um, it's just, it's not a necessity really to come down that much, but it's it's better um, as long as we stop somewhere. Because, um, you know, when I did measure with the FIPS before, you will remember that I told you that we did not really come down far enough. You know, we only reached, depending on if I measured from here or here, it doesn't really matter. We only reached a 23.6% FIP level. Now, that is okay for a wave two if we are very, very bullish, though it's a bit unusual. And therefore, I told you also to get a bit of clarity around the wave count because we, you know, a wave two normally retraces a bit more. To get clarity around the wave count, ideally, you, you want to see a little bit of a deeper retracement. Now, I posted yesterday on the Signals channel for gold members that we've got this corrective channel here. I think I mentioned it in the video as well. And that really only when we break out of this channel, we get some clarity that wave two is finished. Now that never happened. Therefore we have to, con um, therefore we have to expect further downside. Of course, there are, there are a few levels that we now need to watch inside this target area. Um, and I'm going to make that a bit smaller now because we've already reached the next FIP level. I, th I think I told you yesterday that because we crossed already below the 38.2% FIP level, we can now expect the 50% FIP level to be reached at 22.7K. So that is certainly one target level yeah, where we, we could possibly expect a bullish reaction. Now, I can't tell you if it will react bullish, but um, we will see the reaction and um, the 50% FIP level is one of those levels where you could expect that to happen. Or if we don't see the tier, then the 61.8% FIP level. Okay, and then there are a few things that we really need to talk about. So, by the way, we've got here 22.7. That's the 50% FIP level. If you see a bullish reaction here and we leave this corrective channel to the upside, that would be a good signal that it's over. This uh, correction and we would expect a move in a wave three to the upside within which we would need to break above that high here at 24.3K and the next high at 247 Okay, so that's one thing. And if we lose the 22.7, we'll go down to 22.2 pretty much. Okay, what's the next? Um, there are a few other ways to count this. I will make a change though to the wave count because it's not an ABC anymore. It's a bit too long. Um, if you remember, this was a WXY pattern as well. This wave two here. Um, and it's basically adhered here very nicely to the proportion projection of W and Y. So the wave Y was the same length as the wave W. Now let's take a look at where we are here. Um, if I if I see this here, now I need to relabel this. So this here, in my opinion, is the wave W consisting of an A, B, C. We then had the X wave here at WXY is nothing than nothing more than a more corrective wave, um, not more corrective, but a more complex corrective wave pattern. Okay. And this is the wave Y. It doesn't really change a lot. Uh, it's also a corrective one. But it just means that we can count it in a, in a cleaner way. Now, let's take a look at the one to one ratio and the 1.618 extension level of the wave W because this is one target that we can look at. So the one to one ratio was already reached. So we're not interested anymore. But here, the 1.618 extension, pretty much here at the level that I mentioned in the last video, 22,388. 22, so that is one level where we can expect support. Um, and also, if we now count the wave Y, 
because the wave y is also an abc yeah so let me just try that from from the wave x high here we can count this as a wave a we can count this as a wave b and we're now in the wave c and the wave c will finish off the wave y and that will finish off the wave two now so one way oops, something is wrong with the internet here let me just reactivate so one way of you know that there are various legitimate targets now for this wave two one is obviously here the 50 percent and the 61.8 percent fib level that i just mentioned one is the 1.618 fib extension for the wave w that's here at 22.4k and then we can measure the uh, a and c one to one ratio we can do that as well and that would also point us to 22,260. So, I be, you know, really the ideal, the ideal reversal area will probably be in the lower half of this area. So it could already be finished here, um, where we now are, because we've now reached that 50% FIP level. So somewhere here between 22.7, yeah, and 22.2K, I would expect this correction primarily to finish. But bear, you know, bear in mind, we are in a downtrend as long as we're in a downtrend, short term. And as long as we don't break out of this channel, there is no indication that wave two is finished. So if we drop lower, yeah, and we haven't broken out of the channel, then we're gonna go lower. So a wave two can also go down more. This is only the ideal reversal area, okay? So this is where we are currently at and again the trend is your friend until the end that is a bit of a stupid comment uh, or you know um saying but it's actually true so keep an um keep an eye on that and if again if we don't break out there is no reason to assume that we finish this even if we come to these levels but if we don't see a bullish reaction then nothing indicates that this overall correction is over Okay, and that's my view about Bitcoin. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.